Welcome back to the Down East Gardener. Voles, have they got your garden? Are they holding your garden hostage? Because voles are one of the worst creatures we have in the garden. They eat daylilies, they eat hostas, they eat all sorts of stuff. And for years, there hadn't been a solution to the vole problem. But we have somebody here today that has a brand new solution to the vole problem, Marshall Warren. Marshall, it is great to have you here on the Down East Gardener. Thank you. And you have just put together a company called Vole Control, Inc. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is a vole? Let's, I mean, let's start from the basics. Why, what is a vole and how is it different from a mole or a mouse? Well, a, a vole is a type of mouse. They call them a field mouse and, uh, or a rodent. And there are different types of voles, but the most common vole in the home garden is a pine vole. And uh, they tunnel under the ground and they eat your plant roots, whereas a mole they go in the lawn areas and sometimes in the shrub areas, but they're searching for earthworms and grubs, and they make the soil in the raised ridges, and the hole is a lot larger, so there's a definite di difference. The voles also use mole tunnels to get around too, so that's where a lot of confusion is. Well, I know that uh, a lot of folks think that moles eat their hostas and stuff, and moles just eat insect grubs and earthworms. Mm -hmm. But again, the voles are the, are the culprits. Now, there's a way to find if you have voles, and what is it? How do you do that? I recommend doing what's called a systematic search, and you move the mulch around and try to locate an entrance hole, mm -hmm. or poke around with your finger and find a tunnel. And then when you do that, voles love uh, apples. Mm -hmm. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Cut a small piece out of the apple and place next to the hole Mm -hmm. and turn an ordinary nursery pot over it. Uh-huh. Secure it with a brick and move the mulch back. Uh-huh. And do this about every 10 to 15 foot intervals all around your garden area, especially where you locate the uh, entrance tunnels right. or um, burrow openings or right. things like that. And, and uh, if you walk around and you feel the, the soil is spongy underfoot, that's a good in indicator that vole activity is in that area. And then come back and check it in three to four days and uh, you know, remove the brick and check the apple and see if you see any eaten marks on the apple if the apple uh, slice is removed. And uh, that's a, a definite hot spot is what I call it, a okay. vol activity. And if, you, if the area, uh, if the apple is not eaten, come back and check it again in three to four days. And then after that time period, if the apple is not eaten, you don't have activity in that area. But if the, a ap if the apple is eaten, uh, like I said, it's a hot spot and that would be the best spot to put my uh, vole control bait station system. Okay. Now let me ask you this. Voles also eat, besides daylilies and hostas, they eat a wide range of plants, right? They eat most everything. The, about the only thing I know that they don't like is uh, daffodil bulbs. <laughs> now how many voles can you have in an area? I know I was reading through some of your lit literature, mm -hmm. and you work with Dr. Pete Bromley, I know, mm -hmm. at NC State uh, mm -hmm. with some of this. How many, what's the population you can have in an area? And I know you've been doing this a long time because mm -hmm. we talked about it over two years ago. A vole colony is usually com comprised by a mother and father vole and, and, and babies and usually have maybe about five in an area. And it'll be in about a 30 foot radius. Mm -hmm. And uh, it doesn't have to be round, but about that area. And if you have uh, voles all over the area, you have numerous colonies of voles and that they would need to be controlled because they can destroy a landscape very rapidly. So you can have 20 or 30 in a limited area. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, when you come back, when we're going to talk more with Marshall Warren and Vole Control, we're going to learn how to get rid of the voles. So stay with us. We have a lot more on the Down East Gardener.